Welcome to another Mr. Squeaks Tea video. Hey tea people, Kim here. Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, welcome back, thanks for watching. So today's video is a quick video just to do a comparison of our loose leaf teas against a supermarket brand tea bag. Um, the main reason being is we've had a few comments recently in regards to tea bags and I wanted to just explain and show you our tea compared to, to the tea that you'd get from a local supermarket in a ready, ready filled tea bag as such. Um, the tea bags that I've got, I don't know where they're from, I don't know which supermarket they're from, what range they are, whether they're the, the best range or the, the cheapest range, I really don't know. These were tea bags that were bought round from lilac nanny um when she used to look after the kids a lot for us whilst we were working in the tea cabin so i really couldn't tell you what they are um i don't know why she used to bring them around whether it was because she didn't want to use all of our fancy loose leaf tea up or she just fancied a quick brew um in between doing things with the children i'm really not too sure but she's left them here so i thought we might as well have a little look at them and and do a bit of a comparison so let's just run over what's happened in the last week so last weekend we had our uh, discount for reaching 5,000 likes on our Facebook page so we had our discount up on our tea caddies and that was live on our website for Saturday and Sunday however by the end of Saturday evening we'd actually sold out of all of our caddies um, which was amazing I'd actually put in an order um, in preparation for them selling out not expecting them to and lo and behold they did so for you those of you that got one great well done for those of you that didn't they are available now on the web website they are back at their normal price of nine pound fifty um but they're great they're a great idea to store your tea in and then once you've got one all you need to do is purchase the refill bags and they're six pound fifty for a hundred grams um and that way you're not having any sort of impact on the environment with the with the plastic um it's all biodegradable recyclable um so yeah um they're back on the website um a couple of other things we've been doing this week so i've written up all of the new descriptions for the new teas that we've got coming we've actually decided now that we're going to have 12 new teas which is massive but um exciting at the same time um, and Dave is busily working away trying to get the, the labels sorted and designed um, so that we can get them sent out for print um, and then hopefully as soon as we've got them back we can then start getting this tea out to you. I won't go into too much about the teas that we've got available um, that we've got coming because Dave will probably want to tell you all about them. He's very excited about the new teas. Um, but yeah, it is it is something a bit different to what we've got at the moment. Um, a lot of them are teas that have been requested by people, so it's just following your feedback, and I hope you really like them. So I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil at the moment. It's probably going to start whistling any second. Um, but once that starts whistling, I'll pop out and grab it, the hot water, and we'll have a look at the um, comparison of the two, the two bags, so our bag and the supermarket bag. So I'm back, I've got my hot water, um, I should really get a kettle that I can keep in here, um, even if it's just a small one it'd be perfect rather than having to keep going in and out of the kitchen to get the kettle um, and bring some hot water in here. But whilst I was out I had a little bit of a chat with Dave and I'm able to give a little bit away in regards to our new teas. So we've, as I said we've got 12 new teas that are coming out now, not 11 as we'd previously told you guys. So we've got 12 new teas coming out. Now two of which are gonna be part of a new range that we're doing. So they're gonna be part of our rainbow blend. These are our special edition teas, as if you'd like. Um, so they won't be readily available in sample packs at the moment, whether that's something that we introduce late, at a later date that we would offer samples of these particular teas. Um, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. However, um, you would be able to purchase them in the four fresh bags. Um, as a caddy filled or refill bag so there are and also in the ready filled tea bags um, we, we just 
need to sort out the different prices for them individual things however it is super exciting um the design looks awesome um i love a rainbow um people who know me know me i love rainbows so um yeah it looks great and i can't wait for them to come out and be able to tell you a bit more about them particular tees so let's get back on subject um so i've got the supermarket brand tea bag here um it's a round one as you can see um as i said before i don't know where this is from so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to split this tea bag first of all and we're going to have a little look at the the leaves so if i get a little cup like this i'm just going to pour these leaves into here now i don't know if you can see that on the video when i was pouring that out but it's very um very fine almost like a a dusty sand type leaf and if I pour some on my hand so you can see it it's very very fine um, and a lot with the um, supermarket teas they are mainly like the dust of the leaves where they're sort of crushed up to fit into such a small space as a tea bag um, they lose a lot of their flavour um, because they lose a lot of their natural natural sort of oils and stuff so um, that's what the your tea your supermarket tea bag will look like is that sort of fine sandy almost looking texture um, and I've got one here about anytime tea and I chose anytime because anytime is what we would class as being your everyday tea so a bit like the, the supermarket blend um, and that's in one of our tea pockets now what I haven't done with this tea pocket is I haven't folded it over now the reason I haven't folded it over is because a lot of people when we send out the sample packets and they receive these tea pockets in with their samples they're not 100% sure as to what they need to do with them so I will give you a quick show as to what you do so all you do is you scoop your tea in however much you need so if this particular tea is a one one scoop tea so you'd put one scoop in this one and all you do is you fold the corner over like this and then you would just pop it in your cup and i normally very carefully sort of hold the corner over the the side of my cup just means that then doesn't flap in like that it just sort of stays there on the side and stays upright in the cup um, but it's entirely up to you how you do it. My stepson doesn't even fold it over. He just chucks it straight in the cup. And that's and occasionally we end up with a few tea bags as a bit of a Brucey bonus, as some may say. So that's the um the tea pockets and how we do them. Um I'll show you the anytime leaves now. Now I don't know if you can see that very clearly on the video, I'm spilling it all over the place. Um, if I pour it into the cup and then I'll put some in my hand. Right, so it's in the cup now. Um, and as you can see in the cup, there are some bigger leaves in there in comparison as to, to what you were getting in the supermarket ones. So we put them side by side. This is the Mr. Squeaks Anytime and this is the supermarket blend. Um, get quite a bit in our ones. A little bit of a comparison there and I'll show you the leaves on my hand they are a fair bit bigger than what you're getting in in the supermarket blend um, you know I mean look at the size of that right a bit there and the reason why they are that much bigger is because we're using when we're brewing them not just in the in the tea pockets but in the um in teapots just when you're brewing loose leaf tea it needs that space it needs the space for the leaves to unfurl and give you all of the flavor that you should be getting from a decent cup of tea um so that's why you have the leaves and you haven't got them all crushed because you've got all of your natural oils and antioxidants still available in them teas um in your loose leaf tea 
that you haven't lost that you may have lost in the supermarket blend so we're going to do a bit of a brewing um, exercise here so I've got my normal supermarket everyday tea that's going to go and go in the cup on the left and then I've got my Mr Squeaks anytime tea and that's going to go in the cup on the right so I've got my hot water here I'm going to pour the water in to this one first and then into this one just need to hold on to that a minute Now another reason why people tend to go with the supermarket blends is because as you can see that one's brewing quite quickly, it's showing the colour quite quickly um, and people sometimes haven't got the time or the patience to wait for a cup of loose leaf tea to boil, um, to brew sorry. Um, the reason I said boil is because at the same time I'm thinking of my kettle. Um, we've got one of the kettles that you stick on the hob and they take quite a while. Um, We've got used to it now. At first it was a bit of a pain, but we've gotten used to it now. Um, gives you a bit of time to do something in between. Same with the loose leaf tea. Um, it, it takes a while to get used to, but once you get used to it, you'd, you'd never go back to, you'd, you, you'd never go back to a standard tea bag. Um, and you can really taste the difference when you do have a standard tea bag, you can really taste the difference in the flavors. So I'll show you a bit of a close up of the um, supermarket tea. That's the supermarket one brewing there at the moment. And I've put a little stopwatch on to the side of me. So I'm gonna let it brew for five minutes on each of these. And this is the Anytime tea. So yeah, we just wait for them to finish brewing now. We've had about a minute so far. Now in terms of the, the loose leaf tea, um, I'm not sure if many people are aware, but we do do the ready filled tea bag. So if for instance, you're not keen on um, having the having to measure out your tea into a teapot or an infuser bowl and then empty it all out into the bin etc and um, we do do ready filled tea bags so come in just get them one now <clears throat> they come in these tea pockets so they're tied up so basically we just fill them up with the amount of tea that's required and um, so whether it's a one cup tea or a two cup tea we would put the right amount in for you tie it up for you and we've just started putting these into our biodegradable boxes and um, so they're now sent out environmentally friendly these are all made from natural fibers as well the tea bags so unlike your supermarket tea bags which do contain a small amount of plastic and um, these don't um, and with these they come in packs of 25 it varies um, depending on the teas that you choose um, because in particular like our fruit teas they take two spoons per cup um, so it means that you're getting a lot more weight in terms of your tea so then ones are charged at £12.50 per 25 and the any of our other teas most of our other teas they're charged at £9.50 for 25 um, we have a lot of people that do purchase these um, for convenience I guess um, maybe they prefer them they prefer the shrimp that we put in there. I'm not sure, 100% sure, but we do get quite a lot of these go out the door um, and they're all hand filled. So we make sure that they've got the right amount in there for you. So that's our tea bags. Um, alternatively, if you want to go down the, the loose leaf tea option, we've got the refill bags, we've got the caddies, we've got the full fresh bags. Um, and in that case, you would just need a infusible, which we sell, we've got them here. You've seen us advertise these before. We've now got these pretty little bags for them to go into, so they look nice when they go out. Um, we've also got the teapots that we sell, and they're on the website as well. Um, but you can also get teapots from all over the place. I mean, you can get them from your local supermarket, you can get them online, um, you can get fancy, fancy cups that you can brew your leaves in. Um, 
so yeah there's there's all kinds of things on the market that you can get to brew your tea um, it is all just down to as we always say it is all down to personal preference um, and what you prefer to drink or brew your tea in so we've come up to we've just gone past the four minute mark now so soon we'll be taking these bags out i've got a little bowl here that i can pop them into <clears throat> A lot of people as well, when they're making um, like a standard normal tea bag tea, as you say, from like a shop, supermarket, um, they don't leave it this length of time to brew. Um, and that's that again is down to, that is your preference as to how long you want that to brew for. Um, but you're normally given sort of rough guideline of sort of three to five minutes. Um, with our black teas, we do three to seven, so I always go down the middle at five. Um, but yeah, a lot of people will just, dunk the tea bag in and squeeze it thinking that it's brewed because the tea's gone black um, and then take the tea bag out but you wouldn't get the flavour that way you need to allow it to brew to get the flavour so we've just reached the five minute mark I'm just going to move these two cups out of the way grab one of my scoops so this is the first of all the supermarket tea I do just give it a bit of a squeeze because I don't want to get water everywhere water i say tea everywhere so that's the supermarket one and then this is the mr squeaks anytime tea again i'll just give it a little bit of a squeeze so i don't get tea everywhere right so with the supermarket tea the colour and, and the anytime tea, the, the colours are very, very similar. However, the, the supermarket tea is a little bit duller looking than the the anytime tea. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera. That's the supermarket tea there. It almost looks a bit, I don't know, a bit murky. So when you look at the Mr. Squeaks Anytime Tea, it's a beautiful, bright, coppery colour. Um, and it's it's clear. Like compared to the supermarket one, it really is clear. Um, and I mean you guys aren't gonna be able to to taste it or smell it, but I'll um give it a quick go. So this is the supermarket one. So yeah, it's got a it's got a tea smell. It's not very strong. Always got to do a bit of a slurp with your tea, haven't you? So that's the supermarket one. So that one's not really got a strong flavour. So I don't know. We, as I said, I don't know which supermarket this is from, uh, but it's not really a strong flavour. So I'll go with the anytime one. So the anytime's got a different smell to the. The supermarket one. Let's give it a try. See, that's a lot. That's a lot stronger and a lot more flavours than the anytime one. Um, and just uh, looking at the the tea bags. I mean, when I first did the the tea bags. I mean, look. That's puffed out like that. The the supermarket one. In comparison to how it was. So it needs that space, but because it's this is all really fine leaves where it's all been broken down it's got enough room to move in there but it's not giving you the flavour that it should do and then this is the anytime one now the anytime one was probably about down here when we first, before we brewed it and now we've brewed it you can see the leaves have, have expanded and they've been able to release their flavour and there's still room for it to move in that tea pocket um, so yeah, that's the that's the difference between the supermarket ones and the and our teas um, and loose leaf teas in general is that you will get a lot more flavour from the loose leaf teas, and it's not to say that that's for everyone um, because it's not. Um, but once you've given loose leaf tea a try and you've say you've stuck with it, you will definitely be able to tell the difference between a loose leaf tea and a shop bought tea. 
Um, so that's my quick video today. I've gone for. I hope it was insightful for you. I'm not too boring. Um, apologies for my poor camera show in there. Um, hopefully we'll have more to go through with you next time. Um, as we said before, Dave's working busily on the labels at the moment. So hopefully, as soon as we've got them back, we can get them available for you guys to purchase and try. Um, it's super exciting times. Um, but I'm going to go for now um, because it is very hot in here with the lights and I've got lots of samples to bag up still so I'll be going for now but I'll catch you next time if you like what you're seeing then do give us a like um, and if you want to see more or you want to be one of the first to know what our new blends are going to be and when they're going to be available give us a, um, if you hit the subscribe button then you'll receive the notification as to when our next video becomes available or when future videos become available um, and you may just get a sneak preview of something before we let everyone know on Facebook and Instagram and all over our website so it's worth hitting the subscribe button um, it's easily done if you don't like what you're seeing after a while and you want to unsubscribe that's fine um, but yeah so I'm going to go now. I um, hope everyone has a nice day. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Oh yeah! Bye bye!